brain this idea that actually you can change. I mean, it's the reason that I was telling you my podcast is called Reinvent Yourself with Dr. Mm -hmm. Tara, because you literally can change. You just have to want to. And there is this amazing ability of the brain to make new connections, overwrite old pathways, even to grow like baby cells into like fully formed cells and like create whole new pathways in your brain. And all of that underwrites your beliefs, your thoughts and your actions. And those are the three things that make your life what it is, mm. basically. I love that you said that. And it, I guess it doesn't dawn on me that people may not know my story, but my, you know, my father grew up in a tiny village in the mountains of Cyprus. They didn't have running water and the toilet was a hole in the floor for mm. him. That was my dad. Mm. So that's literally just one generation. Mm -hmm. My mum was brought up in a convent with nuns. So that's, you know, again, just one generation. Um, my mum was um, growing up. She was borderline anorexic. I was the person that um, when I said about the, the, the addiction to the highs and the lows, mm -hmm. I was I was actually speaking for myself because my last, my boyfriend before my husband, mm -hmm. that was the relationship we had. It was very turbulent. He was very verbally abusive to me. Mm -hmm. I had zero self-esteem. Mm -hmm. I was bullied and teased for my looks. And so that's why I believe. I was like, okay, I've got a choice. Either I accept that, oh my God, this is my life. But the, that horror of going, this is going to be your life with this guy in this turbulent relationship, always feeling like this. Or, and I don't think I had the words for it back then. Mm -hmm. But it's like, what life do you actually want? Mm -hmm. And that became so powerful to me, so empowering to me mm -hmm. that I've then since lived my life like that. And, you know, going from a stay at home wife for eight years, believing that I was, a, you know, being brought up Greek Orthodox, that's what's expected of me mm -hmm. to then coming out of that, telling my husband, I don't want to be a stay at home wife anymore. Actually, I want to build a business. And now, mm -hmm. you know, getting in front of the camera, which I would never have thought I would do five years ago, yeah. has all been an evolution evolution of yeah. me taking the facts of my heritage, my mum's microbiome and everything, and then saying, but now how do I change? What is that life I want? How do I reinvent myself? Mm. And you're such an amazing example of it. And, you know, I think it's not always, I, I'm almost tempted to ask you, like, what was that moment? What changed? But no. we don't always know. Yeah. And it's also not always helpful for other people because it's not going to be the same for them. Mm -hmm. But just knowing that that's what you've come from, that's what you personally went through and how much you have turned that around. If that is not enough for people to just at least question themselves, you know, I don't know what is. Mm. Um.